Wow, what a privilege to have been able to be there with uh, 1,200 like-minded people and, and come across another one of these amazing finish lines um, as part of one of the most amazing events that the globe's got to offer. Ask anybody who's a mountain biker or an aspiring mountain biker and the one thing that they'd want to challenge themselves with is the absolute Uh I'm Craig Beach. Um, I've been challenged by my bicycle and a race called the Epsa Cape Epic each and every year for the last almost two decades. It's been great. That first Epic, um, just being new in the sport and everybody was new in the sport, it was kind of an emerging sport at the time, is that the challenge of being on your bike and I think Kevin also refers to it as it's the distance of an Argus, but it's twice as hard as an Argus every day for eight days. I think that's special and you need to, I think it's important that people challenge themselves um, physically and mentally. I still cramp every single day of the first day of every epic, so, um, but then it's kind of get, I get fitter towards the end, yeah. I'm a conservationist and I've been doing mapping for conservation for many years and what was starting to emerge then was this 3D planning and 3D mapping capability and I thought it definitely needs to come into the mountain biking. You know, I just wanted to ride every epic and be involved with it and I was involved with it from two angles. One is looking at the planning and the mapping side of things and the other was it's part of my year and I wanted to be able to ride it as long as I could possibly do so. And and there's an element of luck that comes with that and and I've been lucky enough to have participated in almost in all of them. Not so lucky in the last one, so yeah, it's been great. And, I think it's more of an inner battle than anything. It's like I didn't quite realize that I am aging as much as I am and always wanted to try and be in the same kind of level of fitness. And, but yeah, sometimes I think youth is just has the edge on all of that wisdom, especially when it comes to finishing an epic stage. Yeah. There's been amazing experiences, especially with people. I mean, besides the nature and whatever it is that you're doing on your bike, there's been amazing experiences with folk. Um, but some of the great friends that I have are all having come through from the epic and they've become mates for life, yeah. I think I've ridden every epic on a soft tail. So in those days it was like riding a, a kind of, I don't know, pony kind of thing. And you lost so much power and energy through, through that buoyancy. Um, and obviously the pros were com completely adamant that they were going to ride hardtails and those first few epics were about that. Um, the adventure itself um, was just phenomenal. I mean, going through private land, going through nature reserves between, you know, Nysna and Stellenbosch was awesome and landscapes that you would never imagine, you know, being able to traverse through with a bike. If everybody had to try and do something in their life, they need to see some of those landscapes, yeah, absolutely. The linear epics were, were great, but definitely not my pref preference. So I've always preferred the mountain, the technical mountain biking kind of thing. And, and, and the clover leaf concept or model that there is in the last couple of years has certainly lent itself towards better riding. So through the epic race, um, I think there's been this evolution of mountain biking from a technical point of view in the Western Cape and surrounds, but certainly has built these hubs of mountain biking destinations. And the epic has you know, contributed or catalyzed the way that those hubs have developed into mountain biking arenas and, and destinations. Um, and, and it's comparable to what's happening globally, which is great. And in some cases, I think South Africa has driven an agenda there, which has been fantastic. Now, there were a whole bunch of us that had finished 10 epics in a row, and that, that, that was, you know, acknowledged and rewarded, and it was great. And then. Um, kind of gave me a, a grounding and a footing to know that you know this was serious and it was that nice to be involved in this and then soon the 10 became four and that was when we became the last lions as such um, and and then yeah then I knew it was becoming more serious and you started looking at how do you prepare for this and what is it that your 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 routine lends itself towards or offers so that you can be you know in the right frame of mind and prepared body 
mentally for, for what lies ahead. So yeah, it was a subtle process into that. So. 2022 was actually quite amazing because I, I think out of the, a whole bunch of the last five or six epics, it's the one I went into with the most confidence, you know, it's just like coming off an October epic. But I think what day one of 2022 threw at us was profound, you know, it's like a um, huge amount of heat and um, extremely challenging. Uh, it was one that definitely goes down as the toughest epic stage I've ever finished um, and luckily managed to get through to the end of that. I no longer part of the last line, but it's certainly, you know, part of who I am, it's part of my DNA, it's part of my sense of achievement that I want to have for myself um, going forward. It's, it's just been amazing um, to be part of the event and, and, and slowly work towards a goal and that goal has kind of shifted for me through the years is like, um, and when asked the question how many epics do I want to do, it's just as many as I'm able to ride and to participate in it. Hopefully it remains part of who I am and what it is that I'm going to be doing for the next couple of years.